Thanks, Brian. A woman is terrorized. Clark County officials say her former boyfriend is a suspect. Sonu Wasu joins us live to give us pictures of the destruction from a sour relationship. Well, Marsha, it seems that Rodney Fields did not want to take no for an answer. Authorities tell us he actually called his ex-girlfriend and told her that he was about to destroy her property. Now, we've just obtained these photographs of the crime scene from the sheriff's office and take a look at the damage he's accused of causing. Rodney Fields was upset at his ex-girlfriend. So upset, sheriff's officials believe he stuck a steak knife through a picture of her and tore up several others. They say he completely destroyed her bedroom. Take a look at the damage done to her bed and her bathroom. Officials say he emptied out drawers, threw out the contents of her refrigerator, stuffed her clothes in the freezer, and took the rest out into this backyard where he lit a bonfire fueled with photo albums and her clothes. A neighbor was watching and called 911. 911, Sheriff Fire Medical. My neighbor Emily just called me to tell me that her ex-boyfriend might be around the house. Oh my gosh, her front door is even open. Um, she is out of town. There is like five beer cans. The gate is open, the house door is open. Sheriff's officials say as he tore through her home in a fit of rage, he was on his cell phone sending pictures of the damage to his ex-girlfriend. She then emailed those pictures to authorities. Investigators say they are relieved the victim was far away when all of this took place. The anger and the violence that he demonstrated inside this house could have been uh, taken out on our victim in the residence if she would have been home at the time. So we're very thankful that she was gone and that the neighbors did uh, see him in and out and they knew that this wasn't right. Front door, rear door open, the fire going in the backyard and they took the initiative to make the call. Now we're told that Fields did turn himself into authorities this morning. He was arraigned and pleaded not guilty to the burglary and arson charges and is now out on bond. Reporting live in Springfield, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side. Okay, Sonu.